Hello and welcome to Tonalist Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy. Uh, this is our third uh, post in this particular series, which it's hard to even say it's a series since it's going to go on for a while, but something about me just likes numbering things, I guess. Anyway, um, the, uh, the painting we're going up today is called Arcadian Road, and today we are doing the uh, 5x7 study. And... Uh, I painted this back in, um, oh my gosh, probably uh, December uh, of last year, November or December. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of do something from a year ago. Uh, I I thought I actually had a bit more paintings because uh, really I've only been videotaping for uh, since the, the end of 2013. Um, so I have one year's worth of uh, paintings for, for that I've been videotaping and uh, of course I did an awful lot of videotaping uh, this last year 2015 um, but a huge portion of that uh, uh, my painting time that year was spent on the 100 days of tonalism which uh, you you can see on my blog um, it you know goes on for 100 days so um, certainly was a great project but uh, I'm just now getting uh, caught up with my own, uh, doing my own paintings and uh, I'm processing a lot of the videos that I wasn't able to uh, work on uh, because of the 100 Days project. So um, this particular subject, Arcadian Road, is a scene that I painted once before and I believe I called it Country Road and uh, I was actually pretty happy with the, uh, with the, uh, my original version of it, but um, there were things that uh, I wanted to bring to the uh, scene that, uh, uh, you know, I felt I hadn't really accomplished first time around. Although, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that the painting is always changing a bit, and uh, I, for one, really enjoy um, doing paintings of scenes that I've done before. Oh, some people. Well, actually, I really don't know how people feel about it, but uh, any of you that'd like to contact me, let me know. That'd be great. Um, this uh, particular scene, I believe, is uh, from a photo I took in the south of France. Um, but it doesn't really look much different from where I live out here in New Zealand. And one of the, um, the things that I like to do is just sort of get a... Uh, an approach across in the painting that is uh, could be anywhere and uh, that, those are the sorts of scenes that really attract me as well if the trees got too specific or interesting of a shape um, I'll still take a photo of it and I might even process that as a photograph but uh, I won't uh, go after really weird trees as paintings I like trees that have actually they need to have a really good shape and uh, a lot of trees won't, won't, wouldn't make the cut, especially uh, trees that are too round, I call them lollipop trees, um, or too irregular. Those, you know, are too as uh, asymmetrical. Uh, that won't work either. It's got to be a nice balance in between the two to work for me. Um, anyway, you can see I've just laid in the sky there, and uh, uh, I'm really actually uh, pretty ha happy. One of the things you learn when you're videotaping is... Uh, all the places that you could have stopped and um, uh, you know you, you really can't knock yourself on the head for that if something looked pretty cool and you kept working on it and uh, that's just part of being an artist uh, for me I like to bring things to a certain finish but uh, I do notice when I'm video t uh, looking at videos that uh, there's a lot of places where the painting looked pretty cool and I could have stopped there and uh, it would have actually even meant maybe I was a bit of a different type of artist if I had. It's quite interesting. I've noticed on some of the, uh, the more recent stuff that I've been processing as videos where I, like right now you can see I'm laying in my darks first which is pretty much my favorite thing to do. I do the sky and then I like to lay in these darks and then I like to come in with my mid-tones but um, in the last year there's been several paintings where I experimented with laying in the mid-tones and then planting the darks on top and it gives you a different effect although I think at the end of the day they pay the, the paintings you, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference um, 
anyway, I've been looking at some of these ones where I lay in just the midtones, and it doesn't have that strong contrast. And it occurs to me it's kind of a nice look. Maybe something that if I ever wanted to make a big change, it would be something I could do right off the bat. Would be to uh, sort of suck all the contrast out. And I, I've seen a lot of painters actually do that. Uh, painters like Wolf Kahn come to mind in that regard. Excuse me. Anyway, you can see here I've laid in my darks, and um, the nice thing about that, and the, my logic behind that, is that I feel that shadows tend to recede and brighter colors come forward. And of course, the exception being the sky itself. Um, and this is one of the reasons I like to lay in the sky first, so that everything lays over the top of it. Uh, that's not to say I won't come in in later passes and, uh, and do some additional work uh, in the sky. But I, I definitely try and get it all behind, and that includes sky holes where uh, they're coming through the trees. Um, this uh, particular uh, era of my painting, I'm doing my 5x7s almost exclusively in one pass. So recently I've modified that and I'm actually doing a second pass. You don't, uh, I, do, I do know why, because it just looks cool and I love to... Uh, I love to run that dry brush over things and, and hit them with a the glaze, which is something that uh, you won't see me doing in uh, these 5x7s. The, you got to remember the 5x7s uh, the originally just grew out of, uh, there was a guy online uh, who was doing uh, life paint, life drawing uh, or painting from life and he would do these very small color studies and I thought, geez, that would be a really good approach to use for my landscape paintings and that's what uh, got me into it and so my initial 5x7s were always you know no detail just composition and color and uh, which is cool too but you know more and more I, I turn them into these nice little paintings anyway I can see we are getting uh, close to the end and uh, thanks for uh, joining us for day three of Tonalist Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy you can also call me Mike if you'd like to see more of my work uh, or uh, please go to landscapepainter.co.nz there's a lot of paintings there and also an email if you want to contact me uh, we're going to be doing a larger version of this painting on uh, Friday or Saturday don't hold me to Friday um, which uh, so stay tuned for that it's gonna be awesome